Today on the channel, from the Vintage Collection, Mandalorian Madness. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing, which is a daily thing in 2021, as you guys know by now, and if you don't know, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you won't miss one. Every single day I'm putting out a bonus Star Wars video, every single day in 2021. A personal challenge, whether it kills me or not, I'm going to get it done, and so far we're all good. Uh, but remember, for all your Star Wars figure needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So today we're back unboxing Vintage Collection. We're kind of going through a lot of Vintage Collection uh, figures this week. And uh, today we're doing Mandalorian Vintage Collection figures. I'm missing a few of these. I was a little bit late to the game getting into the Vintage Collection. Uh, I was saying, you know, I'm just 6 inch. I'm a 6 inch guy and, and now I really need at least all the Mandalorian figures in the 3 and 3 fourths inch line. I do have these three. I, I have the Mandalorian. I had the Child. I have a few others. I know I need the armor. I think Cara Dune. That's going to be a really tough one. Uh, there's a few I still need. So I'm going to play that long game, that dreaded long game. We love it and we hate it at the same time, but I'm going to try to some way get those figures one day. But today I figured we'd unbox three. We put them together. They're all Mandalorian based figures. We got the Walmart exclusive Incinerator Trooper. We've got Grief Karga, an old favorite from many a film. And then we got Moff Gideon. I figure, why well, don't we start with Moff Gideon? Let's start with the head baddie of the Mandalorian. Moff Gideon. Uh, a lot of people hate the guy, especially when he kidnapped the child. Nobody liked that. Nobody liked that. But I do like we get this Dark Saber with him. Just like the Black Series, which I thought was a sleeper figure, we get the uh, Dark Saber with him here in the Vintage Collection line as well. So with all these figures, we're going to do it like we normally do. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it, see where it goes from there as usual. And I'm sure there'll be a story or two along the way. Uh, there it is, the Vintage Collection packaging. We know it. We love it. We love The Mandalorian. Uh, if you don't like The Mandalorian, what are you doing watching this? This is uh, one of the best shows going today. I really like The Mandalorian. Uh, I'm guessing you guys do as well. Got a very iconic picture of uh, Moff Gideon there with the Darksaber. The first time I think we saw it flamed on on the show, if I uh, remember my scenes correctly. Got that cool red background. Really makes him look a little more sinister there. Um, but yeah, there he is, Moff Gideon, Star Wars Mandalorian. Obviously, the Mandalorian wasn't around during the old school carding days, but boy, this fits. It works. It works for me. On the back, we got the rest. You got Darth Vader, Captain Rex, the Mandalorian. So I got the Mandalorian, Moff Gideon. I need the armor. Somebody get me the armor. I need armor. Somebody armor -er me. I need that one. So I got to find her one of these days. I keep hoping I'm just going to show up at one of these. You guys watch my figure hunting videos. I'm a man of the people. I'm a man on the streets. Uh, I'm on all corners of the world. I've went to so many off the beaten path Walmarts uh, in the rural America. You wouldn't believe what I've seen over the years. I could write a book on what I've seen in life uh, in Walmart stores and, and so forth. There was a Three year span, I was on the road every day dealing with a different Walmart store. And a uh, book alone for those three years of my life, uh, just crazy. One time, I'm out in the middle of the country. I walk in, and there's like this old farmer in his overalls. He's like dying on the floor. Uh, the paramedics are working this guy over hardcore. You know, they're giving the chest compressions. I mean, it didn't look good for him. Uh, so I'm there, and I see that. I'm like, ooh, that's a good scene. I'm, I'm getting out of there. I'm going to go check the toys, and then I'll go do my normal work and talk to some of these managers and see, what, see what's going on in this rural America Walmart. Uh, and then I get over to the other door. You know, there's two entrances to these Walmarts, and I'm walking over there. There's another farmer down on the ground having a massive heart attack or something, that, and they're working on him too. And there's two paramedics at different sides of the Walmart building. You guys have been in Walmarts. Just next level. I just, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And then there's been a couple of times, you know, uh, walking into a, you know, there's not a lot of people that wear suit and ties in Walmart. And I'm in Walmart in a suit and tie, and I get this couple of employees coming over to me. Kyle, Kyle or, you know, they didn't know my name was Kyle, but they, they thought I was like somebody big. Like I was, you know, I was Kyle Walmart uh, as far as they were concerned. I was uh, a legendary Walmart uh, suit and tie guy. And they were trying to tell me that the store director, the store manager of this store, was dealing drugs and stealing a bunch of inventory out the back and you need to put a stop to this and we've been trying to stop and we're getting threatened by the these gangs and stuff and I said I don't work for Walmart I don't do any of that I'm here to look at the toys real quick and then I'm going to handle my normal business my normal work business and uh, then I'm going to be on my way and I'm leaving this town forever and I'll never return after you telling me these horrific stories of murder meth and Walmart 
So, you know, these, these Star Wars videos are always like this. They always wander off, and I have no idea how we got there. But I could definitely write a book and star, uh, about my experiences with uh, Walmart and in Walmart stores all over the country. So there you go. But anyways, let's open up Moff Gideon. Let's just get down to it. I don't know if we were totally done, but we're, we're done enough. We're done enough with story time. Whoa! I almost didn't take him out. See you later. Very cool. Very cool packaging. I gotta give it up. See you later. Uh, plastic prison for the cape. You guys know you've hit the big time uh, when you have a cape. Your cape has its own plastic prison. See you later. That's how you know you're a big deal. And one of these days, when you know, 20 years from now, like I said, I'm going to start wearing a cape. I'm going to have a cool cane. It's going to be all that. Very much like the TV show back in the day. Dark Saber. He's got a little blaster gun, too. I don't remember him using that blaster gun, but I'm sure he did. Why else would he have it? I'm sure he has a holster. We'll probably see that when we bust him out. Let's get that Dark Saber out of that plastic prison. Very cool. Not as uh, cool as the Black Series version. Obviously, bigger size, looks a lot better. This is a, kind of a poor man's version of that, but still cool to get it. Anytime you get a blade of any kind, pull them out there. Gosh, these little guns are always taped in. You can easily lose these. You drop this in the carpet and it's game over. You're never going to see this again. See you later. That's how small it is. That's yeah, just ridiculous. What kind of weapon is this? I'm st immediately sticking this in his holder right now, holster, so I never lose it. That's what I'm talking about. Typical stiff joints. Oh, we got oh we got a mess on his neck. He's got a few space hickeys on the side of his neck. I don't know how that happened. I don't even want to hear the story. I don't know what's going on there, but I didn't notice that. That's unfortunate. The head scan, though, head sculpt, head scan, whatever you want to call it, is next level. I love the gauntlets that move with the arm when you're moving it around. Uh, stiff joints, but we, we've talked about it before. Vintage Collection has great stiff joints. That's how they should be. Uh, not so stiff they break, but not too loose. Put that dark saber in his hand. I love it. I do like this one. I wish those uh, marks on his neck weren't there. That's just a paint defect. Buckle in that uh, cape. And, man, you got a guy that's ready for business. I like this figure. I like this one a lot. This is very cool. Very cool. I love some of these bad guys, especially if a bad guy's got a sword or a lightsaber. Man, sign me up all day long. And this guy was... Very cool, calm, and collective. Uh, just an interesting character, uh, old Moff Gideon. I wonder if we've seen the, the end of him in The Mandalorian. I guess time will tell, as uh, one might say. But there it is, Moff Gideon. I definitely recommend this one uh, if you can still find it. So that's Moff Gideon. Let's move on to Grief Cargo. We'll move Moff Gideon uh, over here, just on the side, just on the periphery. So we can keep an eye on him. He's close enough. We can still see him. Uh, Grief Cargo. Old Apollo Creed. What was his name in uh, What was his name in Predator? Whew, man, my memory sometimes. Dylan. 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 Dylan, and then they give the cool handshake. Yeah, Dylan, right? Dutch and Dylan. I'm pretty sure that's it. I love. I love. I almost said Apollo Crude. <laughs> Apollo Crews. Uh, I just love. I love. Uh, I love Grief Karga. I love everything about it. I love all of his characters. One of the greatest actors of our time. He's up there with Mr. T for me. Uh, who else do I like? Who else is a great actor? Boss Rutan, MMA legend, also great actor. Stone Cold stole the movie from him. They remade the whole movie that Boss Rutan did, like The Condemned, I think it was called. I forget what it was called with Boss Rutan. He did it before. It's the same movie. Drove me nuts. Uh, Boss Rudin. Who else do I like? I don't, I'm not a big movie guy either. I don't really watch a lot of movies. I just don't have the time. I, I got too many things to do. I'm jumping. Maybe I got OCD. Maybe I got... Uh, what is it? You can't sit down. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But let's talk about Grief Cargo. There he is. Just looking only like he can look on the side. It looks like a wise old uh, modern day Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of looking over there. I mean, he's not quite there. Uh, I don't know what we classify him. I don't really uh, totally trust him in The Mandalorian either, but... He is what he is, um, but he's got a cool background behind him. Looks like a very solid figure. Mandalorian vintage collection packaging, all that jazz we've seen before. On the back, they're promoting my boy Zutton. He should be promoted on every single package. Zutton's a Star Wars legend. I just cannot wait for that Disney Plus Zutton series. Hopefully, we get to the bottom of Zutmore and her cheating on all of her lovers and getting dropped off on that planet. Oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait. One of these days. All right, let's get old uh, Grief Karga out of here. See what's doing. Keep that in there. See you later. Get out of here. There he is, the old plastic prison. Don't let him give you too much grief in your carga. Because it's grief carga in the plastic prison. There it is. Got a little blaster. Not as small as Moff Gideon's, luckily. It still could get lost in the carpet very easily. See you later. Nobody wants a lost carpet uh, weapon. 
I, I'm surprised I didn't lose more weapons as a kid. I'm always amazed at how good of care I took on my stuff because I could see a lot of kids just losing their weapons day one. I'm sure it's happened to me. I'm sure all you guys out there have a story that you got something, you opened it on the car ride home, and then somewhere between the car and in your house, you lost the weapon, you lost the accessory. Uh, we've all been there. We've all been there, I think. Not very much, though, for me, but I'm sure there's a time that happened. Get the gun in his hand there. He has a cape, but it is all a uh, plastic cape. It is not soft goods, so that's very interesting. He's got a diaphragm going on. So you got waist. No waist. He's got the diaphragm. He's got the thigh cut. He's got the knees. He's got the ankles. This one's all right. It's interesting. Some guys get the soft goods like Darth Vader and Lando Calrissian, and then some like Grief Cargo, they get the plastic. And both are good. It just all depends on the figure I think it's on, and this works for Grief Cargo, if you ask me. Very cool. Got gloves. Got that gray beard. It does look like him a lot, actually. It's a solid figure. Once again, he does have a holster for his blaster as well, so you don't have to have it in his hand. He can be he can be at ease sometime. Uh, he doesn't have to be always at the ready with his blaster in his hand. But I like this one. Once again, they, they've done a stunner, stellar job on these Mandalorian figures. Uh, uh, Moff Gideon I like and Grief Karga I like. So we're two for two so far. But what about the Incinerator Trooper? Uh, that was the Walmart exclusive. And I wasn't planning on buying this, but I remember I was in a Facebook group. You know, you're scrolling along in your Facebook groups. Somebody posted, hey, the Incinerator Trooper's live. And people are pulling their hair out, losing their mind because they couldn't get this one. I just nonchalantly clicked the link, go in, I ordered it, and bam, there it was. Weirdest thing ever. It's weird how sometimes that works. Like, some people that, you know, they're sitting there watching the countdown clock to get it. They don't get it, but then, you know, average Joe like me just strolling through. Oh, I'm going to get that. I pick it up. Usually I say to myself, yeah, it's a Walmart exclusive. I'll see it at Walmart eventually. And I don't know if I just didn't look too hard for this because I already had it. Once I have something, the hunt's pretty much over for it. I don't really search these out, especially some of these vintage collection ones. But I don't recall ever seeing this in the store. I got mine in the mail, and that was it. Uh, this is probably the priciest vintage collection figure I have. And, of course, we're going to open it and just devalue it immediately at this table. It's I might as well just light like $5 on fire. Uh, when I open this. I don't know what it's worth anymore. But I do have to open this because of the amazing weapon here. So, is what it is. The Incinerator Trooper. It's time to open him up. Very cool. If you guys remember the scene of the Incinerator Trooper in the show. Mandalorian packaging. Vintage collection. Got that white. Or white. I don't know my colors very well. Yellow background. Yellow behind his name. Like I said, Walmart exclusive. Will we ever see this re-released? Maybe we will one day. I don't know. I know some people were army building these, but I'm good with one. I got enough other stormtroopers I can use. There goes that $5. Just devalued. Just, just like that. Whoa. Lost the instructions. See you later. Get out of here. Plastic prison. Looking just like a stormtrooper, basically. Uh, we, we love Star Wars because they get the most out of their molds, but then they also give us a lot of one-off molds for heads of crazy aliens and stuff like that. Sometimes I, I do wonder, uh, you know, they're creating, they probably create characters that are based off other aliens just to kind of save molds in their toys, I wonder sometimes. See you later. Up over the top. Very cool. Fire effect there. I'm sure people could use this for other things if they really wanted to. Very cool. Okay, we got some work. Gotta get him out of here. See you later. All right, what do we got? We have got an extremely loose elbow joint here. Very small, very tight, very scary. Always scared I'm gonna break one of these, you guys know. I'm gonna turn these in a little bit. Man, these are rough. Rough times sometimes, get the everything straightened out. Very tight joints, but very weak elbows. Very Jazzwares-esque uh, with this. I'm gonna put this blaster in his hand right now. Hmm, he's got... He's got a trigger finger here, but unfortunately the the handle is too far wide to even reach his finger. So that is a little strange. It doesn't it makes it, you know, be a hot mess, really. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with this one a little bit. I'm gonna sit here on camera and play with it all day. Yeah, that, that sucks. This reminds me a lot of uh, some of the older G.I. Joe guys, like Barbecue back in the day. It had weapons attached to them. I don't want to pull it. It doesn't come off. It's stuck. And I, I always hated that because if you didn't want him in his hand, you're just free floating in the air. You just got a weapon floating like that. And that's just not realistic either. Maybe it goes better in his left hand. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it does go better in the left hand. You guys know I don't ever put left hands. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed. Whoa. Are we going to fit in here? It's all fun and games until the flame doesn't the flame effect doesn't fit in the gun. Then it's just worthless. Oh, it fits. It fit. I was just user error. User error. 
like this big flame job, uh, you don't get stuff like this. Is this the first time we've got the flame effect in the vintage collection? I, I'm just not a good enough expert to know for sure. This is going to be a struggle, though, to get him to hold this consistently and make it look good. But I do like what this represents. I love this. This is going to look great on a shelf. Uh, things like this really catch your eye with that flame effect. If it didn't have the flame effect, uh, it would definitely not have the same same, uh, same charm to it. Let's just call it charm. Let's try this hand again. I don't know. I got I to gotta play with the hands on this one a little bit, get him to hold this just right. Yeah, it's pretty solid. As much as a reuse of a figure it is, you give a, a couple extra bells and whistles, a little bit of different paint, you're in business. You're going to have a Star Wars guy picking this up just like me. And it's a Walmart exclusive, so you know people are really after it at that point. So very cool, the Incinerator Trooper. If I had to rank these ones, though, I'd, I'd probably put Moff Gideon number one. He just looks like a dude you don't want to mess with. The, the saber gets me. I love the cape. I love the, hate, the face sculpt. I don't like his uh, paint blemishes on the side, but... Uh, and that's a one-off thing. I'm sure most of them aren't, don't have that. Grief Cargo is number two, and the Incinerator Trooper number three. But what say you? You get me? Uh, leave me your comments on these. Anything vintage collection? Leave the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll be here tomorrow with my daily Star Wars unboxing. So make sure you're subscribed. Put your notification bell on to check it all out. So for the Mandalorian gang, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.